Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned 3D Math Series, Episode 9, Part 3 of the Matrix Parts. Today we're going to be looking at multiplying two matrices together. So we can multiply two matrices pretty easily, and we'll say you have a matrix of M, which is row times column, where N is the column. And it can be multiplied against another matrix N, where N times C and N is the rows. So the column of the first one must match the rows of the second in terms of quantity. And the result is R by C, so the rows of the first times the column of the second. So here's an example. A 3 by 2 is able to be multiplied by this 2 by 4. So this 3 rows by 2 uh, columns is able to be multiplied by this 2 row by 4 columns. And, and this is the result is a 3 by 4. So every element within this is going to be equal to, we're going to put in C instead of MN, it's equal to the vector dot product of the row of I of M with the column of N. So what does this look like in practice? It's the summation of I, K, uh, B, K, J, or that would be M and N technically, uh, for every single element within the uh, finished uh, matrix here. So uh, this is kind of that other one again, replacing the MNs with Cs. And what does this look like in practice? So you could see we can line this up, and this will make it really, really easy to see. So we have uh, C31 here, this element right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the dot product of the row of Ms with the columns of N. So M31, or M31, times n11 plus m32 times n21 will be c31. Or let's say we wanted to calculate c23 over, way over here. We're going to take m21 times n13 plus m22 times n23. So this is a really easy way to lay it out and figure out the math really, really quickly. So you just go ahead and put the first uh, matrix on the left hand side and the second matrix above and then you can draw out what the resulting matrix will look like. Uh, in a 3x3 three three, we're mostly going to be looking at 2x2s, two 3x3s, two, three and 4x4s four four in uh, 3D graphics practice. So in this example here's every single element uh, uh, written out for you and it's very very simple to compute the first one M11 times N11 uh, plus M12 times N21, plus M13 times N31, and so on and so forth, all the way across and all the way down. So just the last few notes to finish up on matrix multiplication today. Note that matrices, uh, uh, if you're multiplying them by the identity matrix, it can be on either side and it'll still always equal the matrix that is given. It's not commutative, meaning if you multiply MN, uh, it's not going to be the same as when you multiply it by nm. It will be different. It is associative, however. So if you multiply mn and then you multiply by o, that is the same thing as multiplying by m, which has already been multiplied by no. It also associates with vectors and scalars as well. So the same thing as uh, above, but with scalars and with vectors. And a, a last interesting note is the transpose of two matrices, matrices is equal to the product of the transposes in reverse. So AB, and then take the transpose of that, is equal to B transpose times A transpose. So that's it for this episode. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give some practices to matrix multiplication. It's pretty easy and yeah, a lot easier than you ever thought. So uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Share this on social media, if you will. And um, subscribe on my newsletter on programmingtil.com. Have a great one. Thanks.